Hi everybody, Casey Zander here. Now I know how much all of you probably missed the whiteboard, okay, from way back. I missed it too. And today what I wanted to do is do what I do best and break down a very, very important concept for you, okay? And that would be specifically explaining what are the key signs that you will notice if you're dating a woman, okay, if she's going to leave you. And if she's probably going to monkey branch to somebody else, meaning set up a new relationship simultaneously while the interaction that you have with her, the relationship that you have with her is still going. Okay, here's the reason why I'm making this. Because over the years for me dating, okay, these are certain nuances and certain signs that I've noticed in my own dating life all the way back from when I was young, okay? As a guy, in order for me to give you this sort of information, yes, that means in the past I have went through issues with women. Yes, in the past I've been through disagreements and my relationships in the past from time to time have went self when I was a lot younger too, okay? The biggest thing that you have to realize and remember is that it's your job to learn from those experiences and grow from them, okay? Even Michael Jordan did not make right his basketball team in high school. What happened is he learned what to do and what not to do. He iterated and he got better. So there's specific concepts we have to diagnose and understand because if we are true masculine men on a mission, right, in order to maximize our life, we have to be competent enough to see these things. So the very first sign, okay, that a woman is going to leave you, okay, is it's because she sees you too much. And I'm going to explain why. When you see a woman often, okay, this is specifically for you guys who have girlfriends who maybe live with you, wives who live with you, Okay, this can also be for women who are coming to your house on a day-to-day -day basis. Over time, there's no sexual tension. If there's no sexual tension, it's very hard to keep the mystery and the intrigue that the relationship once had when things were new. Okay, there's a psychological element of newness that women respond very well to. Anytime something is new, it feels fresh, right? It gives a rush of that emotion. That's what they're drawn to. Once again, don't hate how it is. Okay, just accept it for what it is and learn how to overcome these things. So here's for a lot of you where you, you hear this, you think, well, there's no hope. Okay, there's no hope. Here's what you got to understand. Even Christian Grey from the movie Fifty Shades of Grey would get monotonous for her if she had to do that and saw him every single day. Okay, but what was so intriguing about her? It was that she didn't live with him. They didn't sleep in the same bed. Okay, they didn't. He was working all day and then occasionally she'd come over. Okay, this is the whole premise of the movie. It, it, it's, it's the sexual tension became sparked and it stayed because of the mystery and the intrigue. I know that that's a movie that's Hollywood. That's a, that's a concept that isn't as relatable in real life, but just hear me out for a second. What you want to do if you're dating a woman is you want to focus on quality time with her, not quantity of time with her. See, quality of time always will win in a woman's heart. And the reason being is because you can now pull her feminine or emotional heartstrings that you could not do when you're seeing her consistently every day. Okay, the tension has to build. So let me explain this to you. Okay, moving into point number two, the second thing you're going to notice if your woman, okay, starts to monkey branch or is wanting to leave you, here's what you're going to notice. You're going to notice that she starts withdrawing S3X. Why does she start withdrawing S3X? Well, I'm going to explain this to you, okay? If you're around her all the time, okay, in essence, what I'm trying to tell you is you're probably too available. If, if, you're, if, if the woman you're dating is withdrawing, is withdrawing intimacy from you, you're probably too available and here's why she's withdrawing, okay? What this is signaling to her on a DNA level, okay, on a biological level, on a level that is like, hey, I, I'm attracted to men with these qualities and this is my hardwiring, okay? What is happening right here is it shows that your genes are not being productive, what does that mean by your genes not being productive? If you're, gene, if, if you're sitting there in front of her all day, or if you're sitting there in front of her and you're not working on anything, you're not building anything, you're not doing anything that's masculine, okay? You are specifically sitting there wasting your time, whether that be cuddling on the couch, whether that be sitting there watching movies, you do too much of that stuff, here's what it strips you of. It strips you of three things that make men strong, powerful, and leaders in their own life, okay? It strips you of your purpose, it strips you of your ambition and it strips you of your drive. If you're doing pillow talk type concepts, if you're doing movie Netflix every night type concepts, if, this, if that's all you're doing and you lose these three things, your availability is going to register as disinterest, especially sexually. 
you have to understand this and you have to be willing to accept it. So here's the first reason. If she starts withdrawing S3X, it's because you're too available. But here's the second reason. The second reason is because she probably thinks you're weak. You might be saying, Casey, what do you mean by weakness? Okay, does that mean I'm weak when I talk? Does that mean I'm weak in the gym? Does that mean I'm weak financially? What does that mean? Let me explain. Women look at weakness when you're around them in three different aspects. Okay, there's emotional weakness, there is physical weakness, and there's spiritual weakness. I'm going to give you an example of each of them. Emotional weakness would be like you getting insecure, okay, or you getting attached and you getting weak and needy verbally, okay, the whole baby, baby, I can't live without you. You start to take that frame and she senses emotional weakness or strong emotional attachment that you're not willing to walk away even if disrespectful behavior occurs. Eh, she's gone. That's number one. The second is physical weakness. Obviously, you guys can probably tell I work out and I lift weights. Do you have to do that? No. Okay, you can do some sort of combat sports. You can do some sort of mountain biking. You can do running. You can do bodybuilding. You can do powerlifting. I don't care what it is, but you got to be strong. There's no such thing as a warrior who looks like they're made out of cookie dough. So physical weakness registers that you can't protect her. If you can't protect her, you're basically screwed. Okay? If you can't protect her, what good do you do? Okay, you're losing the essence of what a man has to be. Okay, the third is going to be spiritual weakness. Spiritual weakness is like, let's say you're in a bad financial situation, your business is maybe going south, maybe you're having issues at work, and the mindset you're taking to this is, oh, there's no way I can get through this. Oh, baby, I don't think I can make it. Oh, I don't have the will to keep going. That's spiritual weakness. You've given up on yourself. You've given up on the will to keep persevering. If you hit any of these three, your girl is not going to want you. So don't do it. Don't, don't also be one of the guys who do out there who asks for added information when you don't need to. There's, there's going to be guys who you see that in the comment section. They're going to say, well, Casey, how do I, uh, how do I make sure I don't show these by not showing them? That's how you do it. Okay. Don't over consume information. Start to put these things into action. Okay. The last is because she doesn't think that you have options. The biggest reason she probably thinks you don't have options is because of these two. You're too available. Okay, which leads to no options because women don't like that. But number two, she thinks you're weak. If you check these two boxes, she definitely will know you don't have options because you're not representing the masculine essence of what women actually look for. Okay, why is it that you think I'm constantly building my things? Why am I constantly in the gym building my body? Why am I constantly building things in my work life? Why am I constantly building this YouTube channel? It's not because I'm OCD and addicted to building. It's that I know that these things not only bring me fulfillment and enable and, and help me grow my purpose, but I know that this is an attractive trait. People know what hard work looks like. Okay. People respect people for hard work. Women will respect you for your hard work. Okay. Men will respect you for your hard work. You have to carry yourself the right way. So here's the next aspect that you're going to notice. If your girl leaves you, you're going to notice basic unusual behavior. You have this internal radar, a cringe feeling inside of you. This is going to include her hiding her phone, okay, going out late at night, not coming over, not making plans with you, not caring about what you're doing. Okay, here's why. What you got to understand is all of these issues, and I mean all of them, it all comes down to her own survival. I don't want you to despise women for this. I don't want you to be mad at them. Okay, this comes down to her survival. Okay, her survival means that through, throughout, throughout life, okay, women look for men who are strong, able, capable to protect them, competent. If you're not representing these things, she's going to be looking for that elsewhere. Here's where women, here, here's where guys get spiteful. Women will very, very rarely just dump you unless they have a backup option already in place or unless they're already sleeping with a new guy behind your back. And here's why. I know that that's bitter. I know it's a hard pill for you to swallow. I've been in your shoes. D despite you seeing me on this camera, despite you seeing how I act with my demeanor, despite you seeing my, uh, maybe my shape or physique from the gym, I, I, you got to understand I've been in your shoes. Just, just please know that. Please know that I know what it's like to struggle for so many years until I've made myself into per a person who doesn't have to struggle anymore because that's how much pain I used to go through. Okay. The reason why a woman will do this is because any man, AKA you, if you're in this situation, any man is better than not having a man at all until she secures a new one. 
I'm going to read that again. Any man is better than no man at all until she secures a new one. This is evolutionary. Okay. Even if you had, if, if, if we go back a thousand years and everybody lives outside in the forest because nobody has running water and shelter. Okay. If you look at this from a purely survival aspect, can that man help protect and provide for me? Any man. Okay. Who's by her side is going to be better. 100% going to be better than no man at all. So don't fight the hardwiring, accept it. Okay. If these masculinity concepts are brand new to you, here's what I advise you to do. What I created over the years was an exact system called MBT. Okay. MBT stands for masculine behavioral techniques. It's an exact step-by-step -step process. Any guy can copy paste into their life to go out there and actually get results. Okay. If you actually want results, if you're actually an action taker, I want you to go down below and I want you to register for that webinar. That webinar right there is not only you're going to see bits and pieces of my life's work, but you're also going to learn new things that you have never discovered before. And when you learn those things, what's going to happen is you're going to slowly align yourself with a person who takes action. The more action that you take in life, the more that you're going to get ahead. You have to put in the reps, the reps build you into who you become in life. And the reps have to come even if you don't feel like it, even if you're not motivated, and even if you're struggling that day. The reps is what makes a man. Hit the like button, okay, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.